Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some simple blueberry juice. I have some frozen strawberries, or, sorry, blueberries, and I'm going to basically put them into my little ninja to make the juice. And there's only going to be blueberries and some Splenda because I like the less sweet. So I'm looking at these blueberries and I'm just making sure that there's no stems on them or anything like that. I did buy these fresh and I did freeze them myself long, a long time ago. Well, not too long ago, but you know, fresh myself rather than buying them store-bought. So as you can see, there is a lot of juice already in there. So if you've seen some of my other channels, you do know I do make a lot of fresh juices. While this is blending, I'm not going to be talking this because it is so noisy, okay? And like I said, if you have seen my channel, you do know that I make a lot of different fresh juices um, using all types of fruits. So if you haven't seen those, Check those out. I've made some cranberry juice. I've made some pineapple juice. I've made, um, I think cranberry juice and pineapple juice are the main ones I've made. So check them out. Thanks for watching. Nope, not thanks for watching yet. Thanks for watching my other channel, my other videos. So I'm going to put this on again. strainer, my funnel, and my strainer, just like in the previous ones, and I'm going to put it in here. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put the strainer on top, and then I'm just going to pour the blueberry pulp into there, and again, you're going to start seeing the juice pour right in, because it's very, very juicy. And again, you can use any type of fresh fruit if you want. Um, this way. I'm going to put in a little bit of water here just from the, get, here, get all the blueberry juice there. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. So in order to make the juice, like I said, I probably put in about a half a cup of water that was in there. So I'm going to add another cup of cold water. And then another cup. So about two and a half cups of water is what you want to use to make some juice. left. I actually save it. Sometimes I add it to breads. Sometimes I put it on top of pancakes. Sometimes I put it on top of waffles. So there is other things you can do with that. So I, and I do freeze this for later on. I want to make something else that requires a fruit base. So I do use a lot of my other creations. So if you like what I'm doing, you know to give my channel that thumbs up. 
and you know to just sub subscribe. Okay, so that's basically the simple juice right there. So now, like I said, I'm using stevia for my sweetener and the juice because, like I said, I don't use regular sugar a lot. So I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of stevia. put on my little spoon here this is a little bit easier to get it into the container and there you have it some fresh blueberry juice without all of the added chemicals and stuff that they put into the juices on the storms. Thanks for watching.